This HAN Network video is brought to you by the Hospital for Special Surgery. We are at Staples High School for the 2016 FCAC Fall Sports Tour. Here on the HA Network, I'm Frank Renito, and I am joined by the captains of the Staples Records cheerleading team and their coach, Jeannie Holst. But they are Caitlin Gladstone, Bree Rotella, and Julia Ethier. Girls, thank you for taking time with us today. Coach, I'd like to start with you. What was it about this group that led to them being named captain this year? Well, we oh, well, we actually have four captains this year. We have our head captain, Caitlin, and her two senior co-captains, Bree and Julia. And then we also have one junior captain this year. Her name is Eliza. She couldn't be here today. But all four of these girls are incredibly reliable. They, anytime I ask them to do something, they make sure that they get it done. They're always on time. They're always working hard and pushing the other girls to be better than what they are. And all of them, we have so many new girls this year that we have half new girls and half returning girls that they do such a great job of bringing everybody together. And I'm incredibly proud of them. Girls, you'll have two different seasons. Obviously, your competition is in the winter, but before that, you've got the fall season. You guys are the head cheerleaders now, obviously responsible for the sidelines of the football game. What's that process like in getting ready for football games? Um, well, we have a lot of new girls this year. I think we have like close to nine. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, we have nine new girls, so we have to teach all of them the cheers, make sure everything's on time, because like if one person messes up, it's clear that you can see it. Uh, we just want to look really professional. We want everything to hit, and we just like focus our summer practices on that so we can use the rest of them to kind of like prepare for competition. And what are those summer and early fall practices like and what's your role in getting everyone ready? Um, well this summer we did mostly captain's practices in the beginning of the summer. It was mostly conditioning, just getting all the girls strength up. Like a lot of them haven't done cheerleading before so we had to get, just teach them the basics, the cheers, the dances. And then when we had a couple of coaches practice in August and that was doing like the basic stunts, basic tumbling and just kind of getting them like a feel of what cheerleading is. Julia, if there was a football game you guys think you're most excited for this season, which one would it be? It would definitely be homecoming. Our homecoming and pink out game is together on September 29th at home, and we're really excited for that. It's definitely the biggest game where we get the most fans. We love cheering to big crowds. So you guys will be doing a pink, at, pink out as well. We were at uh, St. Joe's earlier. They were talking about doing a game. What's that pink out game like, and what's your guys' role in that? Um, we let, well, because we have our pink bows, we have pink socks, and we have a pink pullover this year. And usually it's just, it's kind of the same mentality at the game. It's just we're kind of playing, like, for the cure. We make posters for our players saying, like, our football player plays for the cure. And it's just kind of, like, promoting, like, awareness for that. Now, as you guys get later into the fall, you'll start to think about that competition season. Caitlin, what are the practices like when you guys get ready for that part of the season? Um, they're definitely more intense, so we'll like up practices, so we'll practice like every day. We want to focus a lot on stunting because like that's always been kind of something we wanted to like make stronger and focus on. And then of course tumbling too. We go to a place in Norwalk every Monday um, to like learn more skills and yeah, we just make them more difficult, I guess. Bree, your coach mentioned you guys will have nine new players on the team this year. How do they get incorporated into the routines for competition? Well, no one's ever automatically not in the competition. It's all based on majority in cheerleading. It's based on like if the whole team can do back handsprings, if the whole team can do a certain stunt, and it's just basically getting all of them to a certain difficulty. And then it's either chose like if there's like if there's any like weaknesses in certain things, if that decides really who competes and who doesn't. You guys will get ready for the competition season. What are the competitions that you're most excited for, and what do you hope to accomplish in those? Um, two years ago, we placed second at FCX, and last year we placed fourth at one of our um, competitions. So we're definitely excited to get back up there. We're really strong this year. I'm most excited for FCX. I know a lot of our new girls are really excited to get into the competition swing. And I think last year there was a lot of nerves because we had a lot of new girls too. But I think this year that will be really strong and confident with our new freshmen coming in. Well, girls, thank you so much for taking time with us. It was great speaking with you. We look forward to seeing you on the sideline this fall, and we can't wait to see you in the gym come the winter season. Make sure you stay tuned to the entire 2016 FCAC Fall Sports Tour right here on the HAN Network.